Hi, welcome to FIU. My name is Gerson. I'm a senior here studying biomedical engineering with a minor in chemistry. I'm also a member of the Honors College and I'm also an international student from El Salvador. Um, some of my involvements here on campus have ranged anywhere from Alternative Breaks, which is a service mission-based organization that tackles missions ranging from education, um, women's health, and even environmental issues, where they do domestic and um, international trips as well. Um, I'm also um, Vice President for the Biomedical Engineering Society, and my co-tour guide, Gisela, is going to introduce herself now as well. Hi everyone, my name is Gisela. I'm a senior also studying public relations, advertising, and applied communications. I'm getting a minor in hospitality studies with a certificate in women and gender studies. So I've been involved in a couple of different things here on campus. I was a Panther Camp facilitator. I also worked with alternative breaks just like Gerson, and I've been the vice president of my sorority. I love FIU and I chose to come here because I'm from Miami and Miami is my home. We know that you can't make it to campus, but we hope that this video will show you a little bit about what it means to be an FIU student. So here, the first stop on our tour is gonna to be the Student Academic Success Center. Short, we call it for SAS. Within this building, there are four main offices. On our first floor, we have one stop. So anything you need regarding enrollment, financial aid, is gonna be right here on the first floor. You sign in a little kiosk, put your phone number in, automatically puts you in queue, and then you just set, step up to whatever desk you need and it's your one stop for anything you're gonna need here at FIU. On the second floor, we have our study abroad program. So if you're looking to study abroad, which I hope you are, um, we have programs ranging from Asia, Europe, and South America, and they could be major related as well. And one of the cool things about it as well is that the same tuition that you would pay to do study abroad is the same tuition you pay here at FIU. And if you're not looking to go abroad and you wanna stay within the 50 states, we have our national student exchange program on the third floor which is gonna be if you wanna stay domestic within the 50 states and the same deal, if you decide to study in another state, um, you would pay the same tuition you pay here at FIU. It's a pretty great offer. I've heard of people going um, to Hawaii for a summer and it's a great offer to take advantage of. And then another great office that's in this building is our Office for Korean Talent Development Center. So if anybody is looking to apply for a job or looking to get some tips on applying to jobs, there are people in here trained who can set up mock interviews, look over your resume, to make sure that you're gonna be up to par for any competition that you're gonna be facing in the real world out there for jobs. Our next stop is the Gram Center. Before you enter the Gram Center on the floor, we have our university seal. On it, it has our motto in Latin, Spes Sensia Falcutas, which means hope, knowledge, and opportunity. You can also see our torch of knowledge, which is one of our main symbols here at FIU. Also, we do have an FIU tradition regarding the seal, where it says if you step on it, then you won't graduate or you'll graduate late. So there is a way to reverse this curse, don't worry. All you have to do is start from the F, walk backwards counterclockwise the amount of years you have left to graduate. So me, a senior, I only gotta walk it one time. Now we are inside the first floor of the Graham Center. The first office we have is our orientation and family programming. All new students must register for orientation and this is the office to do so. The Office of Orientation and Family Programs also offers a really cool program called Panther Camp. I was actually a Panther Camp facilitator in 2018, and it's a great experience for new students to learn about the campus, learn about who they want to be in college. It's like an extended orientation, like camping, but more like glamping. So one of our next stops here at GC, our Graham Center, is our bookstore. Within our bookstore, it has three main components. We have our first component of the glossary, which is our own little mini Ulta here on campus. So if you're ever needing like some skincare products or some makeup products, go ahead and stop by in there. And then behind that, we have our FIU apparel. So any like um, of your sporting jerseys that you'd like to get, any hoodies, definitely make sure to stop by there and definitely look out for different deals that are going on. If we ever win a sports game, we often have discounts and randomly throughout the year, we'll have different discounts for students. So always make sure to take a look, check those out as well. And behind that, we have our bookstore. So one of the great things about our bookstore is that we offer a price match guarantee. So what that means is that if you happen to buy a textbook within the bookstore for $90, find the same textbook on Amazon for 70, um, present the listing to whoever's working in your bookstore at the time, and they'll go ahead and pay you the difference of the textbook. Just make sure that it's a verified vendor. Make sure to look for those keywords, verified vendor, and ask whoever's checking you out what verified vendors they have as well for textbooks. One of the other nice things that's in the Graham Center is our Disability and Resource Center. So if you ever need extra time testing or need any of the resources, if you do have a disability, definitely stop by there and set up all your paperwork with them. One of the nice things that they even offer for students that if you ever happen to break your writing hand for class, 
they'll set up somebody to go to class with you and take notes for you just to make sure that you're always staying on top of whatever um, course assignments and lectures are happening. The next part of the Graham Center and my personal favorite is all the dining options that we have. The first one is Recharge You, which is a convenience type store, Jamba Juice, Chili's, and much more. If you ever wanted to learn more about our dining options, you can visit shop.fiu.edu and sort based on your dietary restrictions and needs. We also have our A Street Campus Kitchen, which is our buffet style dining option on campus. They offer many different varieties of food regarding your food needs like vegetarian, vegan, and gluten free. Also in the Graham Center on the second floor are many of our student program offices. The first one is Student Government Association. We also have multicultural programs and services as well as campus life, which includes fraternity and sorority life, homecoming, council for student organizations, and student programming council. And fun fact about our Graham Center, um, there's over 300 different student organizations that are represented within our Graham Center. So if you ever happen to be looking for a student organization that you're interested in, definitely check out on Panther Connect. We have all of our student organizations on there. And if you ever feel that one of these organizations aren't what you're looking for, all you have to do is sign a petition of five students and you can go out and start a brand new organization if none of the 300 that we have on campus meet your needs. Continuing over here, we have some of our academic health centers or for short, we call them the AHCs. Over here in AHC2, we have our College of Medicine. So one of the cool things within there that our med school students have access to is their own private library and some of their own study rooms. So if you do happen to join our College of Medicine, you would be right here on campus and be able to join the student life as well. Continuing on to our Academic Health Center 3, we have our College of Nursing. So within there, our nursing students um, definitely like to get hands-on experience. So we have within there our STARS Lab. So our STARS Lab essentially is uh, a way for our nurses to get hands-on experience. Um, we have mannequins in there that can simulate anywhere from a heart attack to giving birth. There's one mannequin that gives birth multiple times a day in there. So it's great experience for the nurses to have with patient interaction. So one of the other great things that if you do happen to join our College of Medicine, you have access to doing clinical rotations in over 11 different hospitals, ranging from Baptist Regional Hospital, Nicholas Children's Hospital, and a couple other ones in the area as well. There's definitely always a great way for you to get hands-on experience if you are in our College of Medicine as well. Next up, we have our Stalker Astro Science Center. I actually took astronomy as a freshman and it was my favorite elective I ever took. In the Science Center, there contains two unique telescopes and a control room that is designed to operate them. In the telescopes, you can view the night sky in places such as Arizona, Chile, and the Canary Islands. Next up is our Green Library. It's not green, but I promise it is a library. The Green Library is one of the largest academic libraries in the southeastern U.S. It is seven stories tall and it actually goes descending in sound level, which means on the second floor, it is the loudest. You won't get any work done, I promise. But as you go up, you can hear a pin drop. It gets so quiet. Also on the first floor, we do have one of our three Starbuckses on campus, as well as our writing center and tutoring center. Also, if you do need to rent out any laptops, expo markers, whiteboards, or anything else you need to help you study, you can do so in the library. So continuing on our tour, we have here DM. It stands for Duzier Maison, which in French is second house. So within this building, we have departments ranging from psychology, mathematics, um, women and gender studies, Latin and Caribbean studies, and a couple other ones. And there's also some research labs in there as well. And it's also home to our honors college. So some of the great benefits that you get for being a member of the honors college is they have personalized advisors. So on top of your major advisor, you're going to have an honors college advisor who's going to be there to help you facilitate picking classes for your honors college requirements. So some of the classes that are offered within the honors college can range anywhere from technology and ethics, medical ethics, and even understanding film and literature and different topics as well. All the classes in the honors college are small. So generally every class within the honors college is gonna have a max of about 20 students, which is great because you get to have better interaction with your fellow honors college students. So there's a lot of benefits within the honors college. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Next up on our tour is my favorite FIU tradition, the Kissing Bridge. As you can see, it is a blue bridge connected by a heart-shaped pond, and there is a legend that goes along with this beautiful bridge. Apparently, two students long, long ago got their first kiss on this bridge and actually came back and got married here. How romantic. And so now it said that if you do kiss your significant other on the bridge, you're bound to be with them forever. But forever can be a long time, especially in college. So if you do want to reverse the curse, don't worry. It's really easy. All you have to do is push them off. 
And continuing our tour, we have SIPA over here, which stands for the School of International and Public Affairs. So within this building, there are over 30 different majors ranging anywhere from political science, criminal science, and forensic sciences as well, and a whole bunch of other ones. It's also home to our second largest auditorium here on campus that holds over 400 students. But don't worry, classes rarely ever get to that size. One of the other great things about this building is that it also houses our Model UN team that has been doing amazing recently. We've been number one in the country for the past few years, even beating schools such as Harvard. Fun fact about SIPA, it also houses our International Relations Program, which is currently nationally ranked. Continuing on to our tour, we have our College of Business Complex, which is long for the CBC. If you happen to be a business major here on campus, most of your advisors and classes are gonna be within this side as well. Within this building, we also have a mock stock market. So if you guys are ever wondering how to invest or how to track stocks, you can go ahead and take advantage of that lab within there. Um, one of the other great things that our College of Business Complex does for our students as well, is they put on a career fair for the business students specifically. So that way you have access to different resources for business majors as well. Some of the other great things that they do for students is that they have a, a specific career and talent development center, where if you are a business student looking for a job in your major, they have specific resources just for you. So, and another fun fact about our College of Business is that we are ranked number two within the US for our international business program as well. Next on tour, we have our Mango Building. It's not a mango, but it's short for Management and New Growth Opportunities. <laughs> In this building, we do have our FIU online program. You can choose to be a fully online student here at FIU or take a mixture of both. If you do decide to be a fully online student, all of your advisors as well as your professors would probably have offices in this building. Next up, we have our Rafael diaz Balart School of Law. Our School of Law is actually number one in Florida with 97% of our students passing the bar exam on their very first try. Also, something cool about the College of Law is that students get real hands-on experience. When the Miami-Dade County, which is the county that FIU is in, gets a surplus of cases, they actually bring out metal detectors, policemen, and real judges, and our students get to sit in on those trials. Continuing onto this side of campus, we have our Wellness and Recreation Center. So if you're looking to get your fitness on, definitely stop by in here. So within here, we have our recently renovated gym, which has three floors on our first floor. We have all of our free weights and our heavy lifting. So if you're into any body lifting or bulking up, definitely check out our first floor. On our second floor, we have any of our assisted weights and cardio machines. And our third floor, we have a floating track. So if it's ever not the sunny um, weather that it is here in Florida, our students always take advantage of our floating track. Within our gym as well, we have different um, classes ranging from yoga, Pilates, slay and squat, which is a choreography and heels, and hard bodies, which is a heavy lifting class, and even boot camp classes. Over the course of a week, we put on over 50 different classes and every day you can check in onto those classes using the PantherFit app, just using your FIU credentials and all of these are free for students. Within our gym, we also have a checkout desk. So if you ever forget any of your jump ropes, resistance bands or cushions for bars, you can go ahead and check those out as well. All you would do is um, trade in your FIU ID, check out those items and at the end of your workout, trade it back and get your ID on the way out. And if you're not here for our gym to work out, but you're looking for a snack, we definitely got your back there too. Within our gym, we also have a tropical smoothie cafe that has delicious smoothies and wraps. So I definitely recommend checking those out as well. We also have some other recreational facilities such as our Panther Hall pool, our recreational tennis courts, our outdoor basketball courts, as well as our recreation field. So continuing on our tour, we have our Ocean Bank Convocation Center. The very first time that you come here for orientation, you can also come for your freshman convocation. So within here, you're gonna be here for the first time with your entire student body. Our school president comes out and all the deans from the different colleges come out to meet all our students. They play our school anthem and they review our class banner for the very first time. Some of the other events that you might have in our Ocean Bank Convocation Center are our basketball games, which I definitely recommend checking them out. And there's always a bunch of free goodies given out by our SGA and SPC. Some other fun things that take place in our Ocean Bank Convocation Center are our homecoming concerts. We've had artists such as Little Yachty, Waka Flocka, 21 Savage, and Sheck West perform just last year. Also, probably the most important thing in your college career happens here, graduation. At graduation, your class banner will be revealed for the last time, and don't forget to rub the Panthers' head for eight years of good luck. The next stop on our tour is one of our most famous places, the Ricardo Silva Stadium, better known as The Cage. When FIU began its football program in 2002, the cage became the home venue for the team and has remained that way since. 
Some fun facts about the stadium is also that it's home to the Miami FC. And if you know about Maluma, he also filmed one of his music videos here. Typically, we aren't able to walk on the field, but lucky for you all, we have a 360 degree virtual view. Welcome to the cage. So here we have Park View. The style of the dorms are more apartment styled, meaning that you have a common area, a dining room area, and a full kitchen. And on either side of the common area, you have two bedrooms and a bathroom on either side. Some of the cool things about Parkview is that residents get to enjoy a full-size bed, access to several different common areas, and even a game room. So continuing with housing, as a freshman, you have three options for living on campus. You have Lakeview North and South, Panther Hall, and Parkview as well. As a freshman, you have access to Parkview if you do happen to be an Honors College student, but if not, you still have access to Panther and Lakeview North and South. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the styles of living within Panther Hall. So within Panther Hall, you're gonna have two double rooms, meaning that within the room, you have a twin XL bed, a desk, a dresser, and a full closet for, for each person within the room. You also have a shared bathroom for all four people. So just to make sure you have no communal floor bathrooms. So that way there's less germs. So one thing you may notice in Panther Hall and Lakeview Hall is that there are no kitchens within the dorms. But if you're looking to make a home cooked meal, there are community kitchens within each floor of the building. So make sure to invite your roommates if you're making something good. So some of the other great things that you have access to while living here on campus is you have HBO, Philo, and if you ever decide to set up a TV here as well, they automatically set it up and give you free cable as well. With living on campus comes the question of roommates. Students who apply for housing by our priority deadline will have access to roommate selection on mycollegeroomie.com. On there, you can chat with other incoming freshmen who have applied to live on campus and meet your future friends. Also with living on campus, we have RAs or resident assistants living in every hall. RAs are there to make sure that you're having a safe experience and everything is going well with your roommates. In the beginning of each semester, RAs will make a roommate agreement with you and all your roommates, deciding who will clean when, what goes where, as well as visiting hours. Security is very important here at FIU. Every single resident hall has a check-in desk where if you have any visitors or your roommates have any visitors, they just give in their ID, sign in, and sign out when they leave. We also have our very own police department here on campus called FIUPD. If you're ever feeling unsafe, you can just give them a call and they can escort you to your car or wherever you need to go on campus. We also have an app called The Guardian, where it tracks how long it takes you to get from point A to point B, and if you ever stop or your location stops pinging, they will send police activity to your last known location. Okay, so if you're ever living here on campus and you're wondering about security, to get into your dorm, you need your student ID where you would just swipe in at the front door and make sure to say hi to your desk assistant who's gonna be sitting at the front desk of every building. Your student ID will only grant you access to the building you live in. And if you ever have an emergency within every dorm, there's a little red square on the wall. Go ahead and push that button and that will automatically call your FIU police department and they'll be there within 30 seconds to two minutes. Also, if you ever wanna to talk to an RA, we always have an RA on staff 24 seven and we have a desk assistant on staff 24 seven. So if you ever get locked out of your building, the desk assistant's gonna be there to help to let you in and make sure that you live in your building just to increase security purposes. So heading out into the housing quad, we have one of our little convenience stores here closer to our housing center. Um, it's called Breezeway. So if you're ever walking under University Towers and you feel that breeze, now you know why it's called Breezeway. So if you're ever wondering what my favorite snack is here from Breezeway, it's the Kraken Good Cookies. They're freshly baked every 30 minutes and you can get them all the way until 2 a.m., which is when they close. Next up, we have our Avenue of the Arts. Here is where most of our art programs are housed. First up is our Herbert and Nicole Wertheim Performing Arts Center. Our School of Music and our School of Theater are both housed here. They put on lots of performances throughout the year and it is fully produced by students. All the music, production, lighting, scripts, everything. I highly recommend attending these shows and supporting our fellow students. Next on the Avenue of the Arts, we have our Patricia and Philip Frost Art Museum. FIU has the most art pieces of any college campus in the country, and this is largely in part because of our art museum. Our art museum is open to the community, so if you ever wanted to go on a Saturday, a Sunday, or any day of the week with your family, you could do so. Next to the Frost Art Museum is my absolute favorite place to eat on campus, Vicky Bakery. Miami has a huge Cuban population, and Vicky Bakery is the best place to find all of your Cuban food. Vicky Bakery has the best empanadas, pastelitos, and cafe con leche. Also, twice a month, if you ever want to get your salsa on, they host Salsa Nights to teach you how to dance salsa and to just have a good time. 
So continuing here, we have our MARC building, which is short for the Management and Advanced Research Center. Within the MARC building, we have our Alumni Association, which has 215,000 different bases in over 139 different countries. Within this building, we also have Startup FIU. So it's our own little mini Shark Tank here on campus. So if anybody here is ever looking to start a business and has an entrepreneurial spirit, they can go ahead and meet with a panel of judges who are gonna go ahead and give you some feedback and critiques on your idea. And if they think it's a feasible idea, they'll even give you some seed money to start a business. Next on our tour is Primera Casa, or first house in Spanish. This building is our very first building here at FIU, hence the name. Actually, it can get a little confusing because this building has two names. Not only is it called Primera Casa, but it is also known as the Charles E. Perry Building. Charles E. Perry was our very first president here at FIU, and he had two dying wishes. The first was that he really wanted a building named after him, so hence the double name. And the second was that he really wanted to be buried on campus. But don't worry, there are no bones on campus. We just have a nice little rock commemorating his life. Thank you so much for your time. We are so happy to have had you on tour today. And we hope we answered any of your questions, but if we didn't, go ahead and contact us. We hope to see you on campus soon. Go, go Panthers! Panthers.